Good morning, everybody. Sandy J here. Yeah, today I'm going to take a trip to some smaller low towns in west southwest Oklahoma. Actually, over by Hollis, Oklahoma. It's the north of there. It's called Reed and Vincent. Some of you may be familiar with where those are at. But yeah, I'm like, hmm. Yesterday I was gonna go, but it's like, nah. Something I saw a few minutes ago, and maybe I should have filmed it. I was wondering why the uh, intersection of 67th and Cash Road was blocked off. Turns out, one of the uh, traffic signal poles had literally fallen over. Because we had some weather last night. Yeah. <laughs> So the asked well, why is that intersection cordoned off, you know? <laughs> Turns out that's why. Whoa, my shadow's behind me saying, Slow down, man, I'm catching up with you. Dang!
Yeah, there's a storm. <laughs> Out of Oklahoma! Yeah, I was born here in 73. Yep. My, the guys on my grandfather used to call it Jackass County. <laughs> Hey gang, yeah, let's <laughs> get out of Walmart and get myself a, myself a monster, monster gold. <laughs> yeah, it's not raining as bad. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna save my battery to like, um, like near Hollis. I'm going north of there to, towards like Vincent and Reed. Yeah. I don't want to use up all my juice <laughs> chattering. See when I get there. Hey gang, yeah, I'm west of Altus now, like 24, roughly 23 miles from Hollis. That's traveling. About to pass over Roy's gas station was where I did one video here a while back. Yeah. Here's no for Hollis. Man, it gets kind of kind of almost desolate out here sometimes. It's just like a whole different world. You get out a lot of it's all these bases, a lot of flats, flat tops out here, bases I call them. You can step into a whole different world.
Well, back in the early 80s, there was a bad fire over here at Duke. Because uh, the guy was my grandfather and my family now. We came over here like a week or two after it happened and seeing the damage. I was like, wow. Yeah, box or something. Tree. <laughs> Rock tree. <laughs> <A> giant reference. <laughs> Slowing to sunlight speed. This reminds me somewhat of Chattanooga. Some person for parents. Fresher. I got some apple cinnamon. Yeah, car air freshener. Nice. It smells good. This one guy I know, my friend Eric Bell's uncle Rick Lewis. He got some one of those uh, little trees, air fresheners for his car. It's supposed to have been uh, black ice. It literally smelled like um, skunk or something. It smelled like a skunk or it smelled like a dirty diaper. It was really bad though. I mean, we were like, man, you gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Finally got a good whiff of one. He's like, oh no! <laughs> I was like, dang. Pretty nasty.
This reminds me a lot of uh, India Homa, Oklahoma, right here. Small pounds. When I fed them, they were satisfied that they became proud. Yeah. Didn't read it all. It's funny, I look at the west end of Gould. And it's it's very similar. It's similar the way the highway curves around. It's like it's like a duke back here. That's crazy. Feels different right now. The, act, the vibe, the atmosphere it seems different. I mean, the Hollis. I guess it depends what day of the week you're here. <laughs> I don't know, it's just spirit. Over there. I'm sure they have 
of the press gym. Some of these signs I see on it's, it's a junction, that's on a speed limit sign, that's a highway sign. It's a, it's a, it's a junction, this highway. Eric Childress, Eric is very close to the uh, state line. Uh, I said, it doesn't seem so creepy right now. You know? well, there's an old elevator over there to the left. <laughs> Sorry about the camera tipped over, folks. <laughs> Should grab that sucker. Oh, it's I got loves and stats where I was last time. camera off right now. Hello everybody. Stop back over at Hollis and the difference is like night and day. Literally. I think it I don't think it's so much it's not really whatever's in the town I would say. It's just some people are friendly and some aren't. I shouldn't, I shouldn't judge anyway, I'm just like, huh. It doesn't feel so weird now as it did before. Like I said, different parts of the day. I think I'll just drive through here a little bit. Oops, camera. <laughs> just kind of check it out and familiarize myself with Hollis. Like I said, yeah, that was just uh, the other day. Like I said, the vibe feels different right now. It feels different. You can never tell something off or not. It was kind of off the other day. But now I feel I feel peaceful here. I feel good here. Not me here. Because I know the Lord's with me. Jesus is always with me. He says, well, I'll be with you always, even unto the end of the age. This is for believers. So I'm just gonna be fearless. I'm not hurting anything. Just checking out Hollis. Somebody said they were KKK or whatever. Doesn't look like it to me. That was, a per that was a person with dark skin on the side of the road. So I wouldn't call Hollis KKK um, predominant, because they're obviously not. I mean, that might have been years ago. And, you know, like I said the other day, there was something, you know, until God told me, don't go through there, back through there. You know, again, God moves, man. He changes things really quick. The Lord moves in the situation, he'll take care of it, and nothing will stop him. He's God. <laughs> Gotta give him praise, man, because he is worthy. He alone is worthy to be praised. Guess I'll turn here. I'm looking on Highway 30. So Highway 30 is this way, yeah, it's back this way. So I'm just checking out Hollis, Oklahoma, you know, I'm just checking it out. I've never actually, you know, like, really drove through here. Like, it seems different now. This can of uh, energy drink here. I'm just kind of like trying to watch what I'm doing. I don't want to like fall down. I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. I do have one hand on the wheel, so being safe. I'm trying to be. Get that AC on. Get a little humid out here. Now I'm gonna go. Uh, Boys here, last big bump in the road. Going north out of Hollis. You know. This escalate doesn't pull out in front of me. <laughs> I 
that's a GMC. Well, it's basically the same body style. It's all GM anyway. This will actually take you to Eric, Eric, Texas, I think. Eric, Oklahoma. Eric's in Texas. Eric's in Oklahoma. Yeah, it's a different vibe today. I guess because it's, it's early morning yet. So, yeah. Eric, 39 miles. Stand by for warp drive. Boom.
ghost town. That's a little cotton gin to the left. I'm not going to pan the camera. I'm just going to like, you can see enough of it on the side of the road, but there's something there. Excuse me. There's a little high, little, these little, little uh, pothole asphalt patch highways. Those used to be the main roads, man. This kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Warren in a way. Man, this, this is Vincent. Old grocery drugstore there. There used to be a little warehouse right there. I can tell because that, that concrete loading ramp right there. There's an old house. It's been pretty much done for. Oh no, I haven't got, no, no, I haven't got to Reed yet. Reed's up ahead here. Okay. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Reed's nine miles. Wow. Pretty soon we'll be seeing the mountains up ahead here. It's the rain, the clouds are obscured. Sweet. I remember one time when I went out to Nevada in that 70, 1976 Ford LTD that I had. I think I mentioned it in the video. But yeah, I went all the way out there to the night. I was going early morning. I was coming back. It was like 12 midnight. I was, I was, I was taking this backwards. I came through here. I came through the lead of this. Yeah. Every once in a while I get out this way. Yeah, I apologize to anybody watching this news from Hollis. It's just... It, does, it is kind of creepy there sometimes. And I know some of you that are from there probably are aware of that. There are some friendly people there, I've noticed. So it's like, you get the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's just like, like I said, I felt the Lord told me, don't drive back to there. I, mean, I think it was just that that evening, because he knows when it's safe and it's not safe. Not that God's afraid of anything, because he is not afraid of anything. <laughs> but he's doing, he's just wanting to protect me, because like his child. It's one of his babies, one of his kids. Of course, Satan's trying to tell me, but I'm like, I feel inside, but yes, you are. because people are so friendly. They, they wave at you. They wave at you, man. They're friendly. And the speed of one of them. How are you? This is a lot like a worker, right? I think it still works. I've been through a night before, but I can't remember. It's been so long. Oh, man, look at all that rain. There's a big old bunch of rain over there to my right. Oh, man, I'm going hit, to hit into that here in a little while. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, I've noticed, getting close to it.
Yeah, I'm just leaving this little place here in uh, Old Granite, Oklahoma. Uh, head over here to a little town called Lone Wolf. Squat batteries out to you. It looks like the storm system is kind of back building to the northwest there. But yeah. Well, we're trucking, folks. The camera's situated on the tree pod, the tripod. Sorry if it's a little crooked, but you know, 